Hey guys, welcome to Nate's Supercoach for 2024. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, lock, watch or pass, and we're going to focus on the Brisbane Lions. So I've uploaded the Adelaide video as well. I've got videos for all 18 teams. If there is any content that you'd like me to create, or if you think there's any players I've missed, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe to the video. I want to try and get to a goal of 500 subscribers to the channel. Preferably before the season starts, uh, but yeah, please leave a like and subscribe, and uh, so you don't miss any of the content that I've got planned coming. Okay, so let's look at lock, watch, or pass. Now, if you haven't seen these videos before, I've basically separated players into three categories. First one is a lock or a keeper, someone you would probably consider starting in your super coach team. Now, you can't afford all of them, obviously, but as we go through the videos, you're going to see the differences. And you can use some of these players as a point of difference against other super coaches because usually most most teams end up being very, very similar. So if you use a really good point of difference, that can help you. The second category is watch. Okay, So these are players that we need to just have a little bit more time before we can say, yeah, we're going to pick them. Uh, whether that be just during pre-season, intra-club games, community practice matches, round zero. We need to be looking for things like their scoring potential, uh, if they're coming off an injury, have they recovered, their job security with new players coming in, drafting or trading, all sorts of things. So we just need a bit more time for those guys. And the pass is where we've got to the stage where we can say, look, there are significant doubts or concern over a person's uh, injury or their, their body, can their, can their body hold up for a season? Um, their job security, is the introduction of a player going to change their role significantly enough to say, look, we probably shouldn't start them, uh, then we're going to pass on them. All right, doesn't mean you can't pick them up later in the year, of course, but it's not the place, it's not the best thing to start them. All right, so let's get on with Brisbane, okay? So as far as I can tell, there's two players that you would be looking at to start if you were starting any from Brisbane. One would be Josh Dunkley and Lockie Neal, okay? So Dunkley and Neal... Both mid prices, okay. In, sorry, both midfielders rather. Um, only mid only, so they're not dual position, okay. Dunkley and Neil certainly not mid prices. <laughs> Dunkley six hundred and forty four k, Neil six hundred and seventeen. So you're going to pay up for any of these guys. Now my honest thoughts are, it's a real shame that they're only midfield only because Dunkley was I think the first person picked last year because he was mid forward and we had a we didn't have many forwards to choose from. So Dunkley's kind of held down that mid-forward uh, F1, F2, if you like, for, for a few seasons now. Um, if I was going to start one of them, I'd probably start Neil. I think his midfield numbers, uh, two Brownlow medals, I think that sort of speaks for itself. And he's 30-odd grand cheaper as well. You could use that 30 grand somewhere else to upgrade a, a rookie or a mid-pricer with more money. You know, it's, it's just a little, bit, a little bit more flexible. I'd probably go Lockie Neal. I don't know whether he is back to his super coach best that he was at, you know, three, four years ago, where he was a reliable captain week in, week out. Having said that, he's a very, very good player on his day, and... He could be a very good point of difference because I don't know how many I haven't seen many sides with Lockie Neal in there. And at six seventeen, it's you know you're paying a little bit more than say a Walsh or um, or that kind of thing. But he's thereabouts, and I'd be going for Neal. Not to say, of course, if you chose Dunkley, it would be a bad move. Not at all. I think these two guys will be the top two Super Coach players for Brisbane. Do they take points off each other? Mm, possibly. But I'd back probably Lockie Neal in as a dual Brownlow medalist and a super coach, almost super coach royalty. Okay, moving to the watch list now. The only one I can really think of is Kitty and Coleman. Now, I took great pleasure in watching the grand final last year because I had Kitty and Coleman for 20 touches or more and he was just racking up possessions left, right, and center, uh, taking kickouts and all that sort of thing. He could very well benefit from Daniel Rich retiring. So he's at 398,000 and he's a defender only. Um, I wouldn't say no. Uh, I don't think it's a bad thing starting him. I just think we need a little bit more information and just to watch Brisbane over the preseason and uh, to see how they kind of line up down there, as I said, with, with Rich leaving. So he could be a good upgrade target. The problem becomes if he is an upgrade target, he already rises $100,000 in value and you could have started him at less than 400,000, he gets to 500,000 by putting in a couple of hundred scores. Um, will Kitty and Coleman be in the top 8 to 10 defenders? Uh, probably, uh, hard to tell, hard to tell. 
Probably not. I think it'll be one to watch in a few years' time, though. But uh, that's the watch list. Now, there's no one I can really that I would pass on in terms of Brisbane. Uh, they're in a good spot, really. Uh, there's no really, there's not really a player that has played for them that we think, oh, they're probably past it now and things like that. Um, the only thing I can think of is probably Joe Danaher. But again, we don't really choose keep position forwards in Supercoach anyway. It's just one of those things. We rely more on the small forwards uh, because the key position players need to kick bags of goals to, to really score well in games, and then they've got to do it consistently to be a, a, a good return on investment for the money that we fork out for them. All right, thanks, guys. If you think I've missed a player, let me know in the comments section below, and I'll see you in the next video.